represent Mexico. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So in what I think will be a very interesting fight, David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant, or maybe I should call him the Anthony Durrell Destroyer because he's known now by that knockout win over Durrell. It was a great knockout, especially for Caleb Plant because he's not known for really knocking too many people out. But the way that knockout win went viral, you would have thought Caleb Plant knocked out Jamal Charlo, Andre, or David Benavidez. But instead, it was a fighter that Caleb Plant was already favored to beat when the fight was signed. Matter of fact, it could be very possible that the attention that that knockout got may have even gave Caleb Plant even more confidence to take the David Benavidez fight. But whatever reason Plant took the fight, he was willing to do something that Canelo Alvarez was not willing to do. And that's fight the boogeyman at 168, David Benavidez. Win, lose, or draw, you can definitely say Caleb Plant, he has the type of heart that Canelo Alvarez doesn't have. With that being said, Canelo Alvarez, he finally spoke on this fight between David Benavidez and Caleb Plant, and he said it's going to be a very competitive fight. I personally believe that Benavidez wins. I am here to face the best and make the best fights. Whatever leads me to make history, that is why I am here, end quote. You know, my question is, how come Canelo Alvarez just didn't come straight out and say, I am going to fight the winner of Benavidez and Caleb Plant? Instead of talking about, I'm here to fight the best and et cetera, et cetera. Not only does Canelo Alvarez already know that David Benavidez, he is the best at 168 or whoever wins this fight. But Canelo also knows this is the fight that everyone is asking Canelo Alvarez to take, including now even the WBC. Canelo has finally heard the words that he's dreading from the WBC, which is once again, the winner of this fight will be Canelo Alvarez's mandatory. And the WBC president, he told David Benavidez's manager that this Benavidez versus Plant fight will be the final eliminator, which means Canelo Alvarez is gonna have to either fight the winner of Benavidez versus Plant or vacate a fourth belt because that would be the fourth time Canelo Alvarez surrendered his belt when one of his mandatories was tough. Now, there's one thing that Canelo Alvarez said that I do kind of agree with. I partially agree with. I do believe that this is going to be a very competitive fight when it comes to David Benavidez and Caleb Plant. Styles make fights. And I do believe the Ronald Ellis fight and the Anthony Durrell fights prove that David Benavidez, he has a little bit of a problem with boxers and foot movement. Both of those fights were very competitive when David Benavidez was fighting against these guys. So I believe that this fight is gonna be very competitive, but I'm really looking forward to it. So with that being said, that's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.